Who do you think you're talking to? How can you justify yourself to me? My mother was stabbed in an alley because of you. She bled to death alone in a pile of garbage. So save me your campaign speeches about the great thing. You sound a bit delusional, you know? But then again, who are you? You're a disgraced cop obsessed with her mother's murder. And who am I? I'm a decent man looking out for the little guy. That's who the public sees. And every time they elect me, I'm humbled. I strive harder to live up to that ideal. I want to be that man. And I won't let you or anyone else get in my way. I don't think you're in a position to threaten, Senator. So here's what you don't understand. It's not who has the gun. It's who has the power. Do you really think that's you? I have the file. Smith had another copy. Zero eight six seven two two four one. That's the number of the bank account where you deposited the money orders. So you're right. It is about who holds the power. Now I could release that file and destroy you, but what would that mean for my life expectancy? So here's how it is. The deal that you had with Smith, that's our deal now. And if anything happens to me or anyone that I care about, that file goes public. Am I clear? That's a yes or no question. Yes. And one more thing. Whoever it is you think I am, whatever it is you think you know about me, you have no idea what I'm capable of or how far I will go. I am done being afraid. It's your turn now. That's gonna leave a nasty scar. Every time you see it, think of me. Okay, tell me you didn't. We reached an understanding. Well, what about your mom? I'll get justice for her. Just not today. Till then, get it for others. Hard to miss the irony of this situation. Senator Bracken, do you have any enemies? Is there anyone that you can think of that would like to kill you? I get threatening letters and emails all the time comes with the office. Mm. My chief of staff keeps the file. Anyone with a legitimate claim? A man doesn't get to my position without upsetting people along the way. Most of them aren't crazy enough to want to try to kill me. Mm. Present company excluded. You know, Senator, I'm not the one that you should be worried about right now. It's just us here, Detective. A shooter on the loose. Me in the crosshairs. Must be a dream come true for you. In my dreams, I'm the one that gets to pull the trigger. But you know what? If you're not comfortable with me leading this investigation, you're welcome to step outside and tell everyone why. Well, then I guess we're stuck with each other. So then let me make one thing clear. 
This man killed Melanie Rogers, and when someone commits murder, whoever he is, Senator, I will bring him to justice, no matter how long it takes. I'll have my chief of staff send off the letters. We finished our search of the primary target area, Detective. We found no explosive device. What about the stage? Did you check the podium? We swept everything in a 50-foot radius of where the Senator would be speaking. All right, well, this is ridiculous. Let's just get everybody back inside. I'm sorry, Senator. We still have to conduct a thorough search of the building. It's going to take a few more hours, I'm afraid. You think I don't know what you're doing? You let McManus get away so that he would take me down, and when that didn't play out, you decided to ruin the most important moment of my career. That's not what this is. Now, you saved that for the review board. You have overplayed your hand, and I am going to bury you. saved my life. Yeah, we can't win them all, can you? I suppose this means I'm in your debt. Nothing's changed between us, Senator. Even so. It's a dangerous world out there, Detective. You never know when you might need a friend. I know that I've gotten where I am today by doing whatever it takes to get the job done. That is the kind of leadership this country needs, and that is why I am forming an exploratory committee for a run for the presidency of the United States. Senator Bracken, an early frontrunner, is rumored to have significant funding already lined up from major contributors. Hiding behind Vulcan Simmons, funding his campaign with dirty money, killing whoever gets in his way, just like he did with my mom. It's him. We have no way of proving it. Maybe the Fed will find something. No, Bracken is so well insulated. It's genius, actually. He has all the campaign funds that he needs without having to compromise or be beholden to any special interest groups. But if it really was him, why wouldn't he just let you die in the woods? Why would he send Elena to save you? Because when I stopped the assassination last year, I saved him. And he told me that he owed me. And now we're even. So the next time that we see each other... Hello, Detective. Don't even think about it. Drop the scissors. We had an agreement. A truce. Live and let live. I held up my end of the bargain. I even saved your life. And that makes up for what you took from me. What about what I gave to you? Everything you are, everything you've accomplished is because of me. Is that how you justify murder? It builds character? Then why don't you give me a chance to build yours? You had a future. Why couldn't you just let this go and move on so I could do the same? So I guess there's no point in asking for your vote, is there? You're not going to be on the ballot. A presidential campaign financed by drug money with a trail of dead bodies, there's a hole big enough to bury all of that. I got to tell you, part of me really admires you, your moral certitude, the way you fight for what you believe in, even knowing it's going to destroy you. But the part of me that admires you is not the part that makes tough decisions. Fine. 
and kill me. Do it. Pull the trigger. I have people for that. I don't want them. I want you. Do it. Now. Or don't you have the balls? And create physical evidence linking me to the crime scene. We both know I'm smarter than that. Truth is going to come out. There is no truth. Not anymore. Look, this country deserves a leader who won't fight. Who, who, who won't fight, who, who won't back down from a fight, who has a, a proven record of taking on the special interests and uh, believes the government can still be a force for good. These are the I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to cut this short. But... Senator, is everything okay? You can't, you can't be here. I found the tape. I found it. It's over. Senator Bracken, you are under arrest for conspiracy, fraud, and the murder of my mother, Joanna Beckett. Turn around, please. Come on, Bracken. 